Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to all of you. Uh, I'm Junaidi bin Zakaria from Faculty of Chemical and Process Engineering Technology in Institute Malaysia Pahang. And today uh, I will present on the effect of different treatment methods on the purification of bacterial cellulose produced from OPF juice by azetobacter xylenum. What is actually bacterial cellulose or BC? So BC produced by gram-negative bacteria which is azotobacter xylenum and it is also an alternative for plant-based cellulose. So why we need, we need to find alternative for plant-based cellulose? The reason is because of plant-based cellulose contain of hemicellulose and lignin. So it is not pure. Okay. The increase in demand for cellulose contribute to environmental problem due to byproduct of pumping or deforestation. Okay, so bacteria in this case, bacterial cellulose or BC have the same properties with uh, plant-based cellulose. Okay. Then, what is OPF juice? So it is a waste from oil palm industry and used as fermentation medium for bacterial cellulose production, replacing standard fermentation medium, which is HS medium. Why we need to find, uh, uh, why, why we need to replace the fermentation medium, which is HS, HS medium? Because of HS medium, uh, it's very high in cost. So when we replace the carbon sources with uh, another type of waste, so that uh, the, the the cost will be lower and, and also the sources is available all the time. What are the problem statement? So, the production of bacterial cellulose by static uh, cultivation method produce low yield and also it contains impurities such as a broth component or the bacteria cell itself. So, treatment method is important to make sure that the bacterial cellulose produced is free from any impurities uh, such as a broth component and also uh, the bacterial cell itself. Okay. The treatment method affect the morphology of bacterial cellulose even though it, is, it does not change the chemical structure and shape of the bacterial cellulose. So, the objective of this study is to study the effect of different treatment methods on the purification of bacterial cellulose produced from OPF juice by using azetobacter xylenum. For the methodology, uh, the fermentation is carried out for 7 days and um, the fermentation temperature is 30 degrees C with the initial pH of 4.5 using pure, pure OPF juice as a medium. Okay? Three methods has been proposed for the treatment methods or treatment or purification methods. The first, uh, BC was treated with different sodium hydroxide concentration at constant temperature of 70 degrees. Okay, 70 degrees C. And second, the BC was treated with different temperature while the sodium hydroxide concentration was fit at 0 0.1 molar. Okay, third, the BC was uh, further purified in distilled water at different temperature. So, we used three different methods for treatment. Okay. And then, the, the determination of functional group by using FTIR. And then, the morphology will be characterized by using FISM. And we do the analysis in terms of uh, loss of biomass based on the equation given. Then, we proceed to the result and discussion. For the first treatment method, which is treatment of BC at different uh, concentration of sodium hydroxide, okay, the loss of biomass of BC um, is shown by this figure. Okay, higher percentage of biomass loss can be obtained at 0 0.5 uh, molar concentration of sodium hydroxide. But in this case, we choose the one point one molar a concentration of sodium hydroxide to be used for the next method uh, because uh, the color of the BC pellicle is whiter compared to the others. Okay, the second treatment method which is uh, treatment of BC at different temperature. In this case, uh, the concentration of sodium hydroxide is fit at 1 molar. Okay, so you can see the graph. Okay, the result revealed that higher percentage of loss of biomass 
can be observed at a uh, higher temperature. Okay, this is because at high temperature, sodium sodium hydroxide solution can penetrate better into the membrane of the cellulose to hydrolyze the bacterial cell and remove the impurities uh, present in the DC pellicle. Okay, so as shown in this as shown in this figure, both uh, 80 degrees C and 90 degrees C uh, show high percentage of remo uh, removal, which is uh, 11.45% and 0. Point, uh, sorry, and 10.07%. In this case, however, okay, uh, we choose um, 90 degrees C temperature for the next um, method because of the color, actually the color of BC pellicle is whiter compared to uh, 90, uh, sorry, compared to 80 degrees C. So we choose uh, temperature at 90 degrees C. Okay, the third method uh, is subsequent treatment of BC. Uh, what actually mean by subsequent treatment? Okay, means that, okay, at first, um, okay, uh, we do the treatment by immerse the BC pellicle in 1.0 molar uh, of sodium hydroxide and um, the temperature is 90 degrees C. And then we do the subsequent treatment. Okay, you can see the result from uh, the figure okay so higher removal of biomass actually 22.03 uh, percent was achieved uh, when the bc again heated in distilled water at 90 degrees c after the first treatment therefore it can be concluded that subsequent treatment of bc at 90 degrees c was the most effective way or technique to purify the bc mean Firstly, uh, okay. Firstly, we immerse the bacterial cellulose pellicle in 1.0 uh, molar sodium hydroxide at uh, 90 degrees C temperature. Then, after that, we do the subsequent treatment by immerse the BC pellicle in distilled water at 90 degrees C. So, the loss of biomass is 22. 0.03%. Okay, the analysis of functional group by using FTIR. Okay, you can see that the BC uh, produce uh, treated by using uh, three different method. Okay, show similar functional group with pure cellulose. It means that the BC produced and treated uh, show similar um, functional group with uh, the pure cellulose from uh, plant. Okay. So, you can see the OH stretching band, also the ROH stretching band and also the COC asymmetric stretching. So, it, is, can, it can be concluded that uh, the bacterial, bacterial cellulose uh, functional group is same with the plant-based cellulose. For the morphology characterization using FISAM, okay, from the figure that can be seen, Okay, it can be observed that the BC is made uh, of ultra-fine layer of cellulose, ribbons that are crossed, okay, superimposed and randomly oriented. Okay. This layer, also uh, called as a microfibrils, are irregular in size where the size varies uh, from 50 nanometer to 60 nanometer. Other than that, there is no prison of the cell biomass embedded in the BC metric as the sodium hydroxide solution are able to hydrolyze and remove all the set impurities even at low temperature. For the conclusion, okay, the BC pellicle has been successfully treated from all the proper uh, purification or treatment methods. Okay? Findings show that higher percent of loss of biomass, which is 22.03%, was obtained by purifying the BC at 1 molar of sodium hydroxide at 90 degrees C and further treated with distilled water at 90 degrees C. Okay. Chemical composition of pure cellulose was observed through FTIR analysis with higher intensity at higher temperature. So, and then FISAM analysis shows that the morphology of BC are free from any impurities in the membrane matrix. Okay, that's all. Thank you.